Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Web Wiz video number 23, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now a really really lovely one this week, I'm a massive fan, always have been, of magic. As you all know I absolutely adore maths, put the two together, what could possibly go wrong and that is what this week's Web Wiz video is all about. If you google mathematical magic, all one word, then the number one hit that comes up here is this website, mathemagic, math, mathematicalmagic.com, the manual of mathematical magic. Now that's one way of getting to this um, absolutely excellent website. The other way is on my own website. If you go to the essential freebies section, then you'll see there it is there. That'll take you straight to it along with a load of other um, excellent free math stuff. Now, the main part about this site is this absolutely amazing ebook, and it's completely free to download. I don't know how it's free. I'd happily pay for it. I don't want to give the uh, authors any idea there, but I think it's an absolutely fantastic thing. If you download it, it's a PDF and it looks a little bit like this. Now what it is, it's written by uh, Peter McOwen and Matt Parker, and it's full of ma uh, magic tricks, but what's absolutely lovely about it is that they are mathematical magic tricks that can be used in the classroom. Now if I just uh, take you through a couple of these things, how they work, uh, you get a few symbols here, uh, the magic symbol, the sneak where the sneakiness is explained, and then this is the most important one, this bit of this square root thing, because all of the tricks in the book are based on mathematical principles and then we get this one here about kind of further reading about um, kind of extensions and applications now let's just have a look at some of the tricks and then I'm going to talk about a few possible lesson applications for this so if I just uh, flick through a few here uh, the first one is an absolute classic it opens with a really good one it's a card trick about cutting cards and revealing cards um, and you can read through all that but then this is the bit I want to focus on you get the nice little uh, mathematical bit there explaining exactly how the maths behind it all works and it's the same for trick two the dented card trick once again you get into a nice bit of maths and look at that a lovely little bit of algebra comes into play now one way to use these tricks is simply kind of just to chuck them in randomly in a lesson to engage the students and impress them and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that nothing I find fascinates students whatever age whatever ability they are than the magic um, and that's a perfect way to use this however I almost think that's selling it a little bit short so a couple of things I've done in the past with, with some of the tricks in this book is sometimes as a plenary I've, I've shown a trick and the homework has been to figure it out and I've got the students to write down what I've done and then try it on their mums and dads when they get home can they figure it out can they figure the maths behind it out and that tends to work really well but another idea that I've had recently and, and I tried with my year 10 class and it went down well was to choose five or six uh, tricks, get them printed out on a piece of card, um, get the students into groups of uh, four, and the job of each group was to learn one of these tricks, the trick that that group had been given. They were to learn it, no other group saw the trick that uh, each, or each of the other groups were learning, so each group had to learn this trick, become an expert at it, and then invite one member of uh, each of the other groups round to their table to try out the trick and see if they could figure it out. So uh, groups would become an expert and then they were showing off their trick to other groups and then it was their job to try and explain and try and figure out how it had been done. And again, the students were absolutely loving it because they felt a bit of power, they felt a bit of knowledge that they, they understood a trick that no one else did. And then the other students were desperate to figure out how it worked. And by the end of the lesson, we'd learned six, everyone had learned six amazing magic tricks, all of which had fundamental mathematical principles behind them. And crucially, the vast majority of these principles are algebraic, which as we all know, is one of the most difficult subjects for students to grasp and one that students often think that they hate. So I just think this is an absolute gold mine of a resource. It's absolutely fantastic. The maths running through is amazing. The tricks are fantastic. It's 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 one of my favourite resources I've ever seen, and I heartily recommend you download it. And before we go, uh, you may be familiar with uh, Matt Parker, the stand-up uh, mathematician for, from Twitter and also from YouTube. And if you have a spare moment, then this is certainly a video worth uh, checking out. If you just stick that into Google, uh, or sorry, into YouTube, 145 and the Melon Coil, it's a brilliant video that's kind of a, 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 about the properties of numbers and kind of happy numbers, but then it takes it one step further. And it's great just to look at as a teacher and absolutely fantastic to show the kids as well. So so um, please try this out, I'm a massive, massive, massive fan of it and I promise you it'll go down a storm with your students. And I'll be back with a fresh WebWiz video next week. Bye for now.